There's always been a lot of talk on Mark III where the guys haven't been able to get their work offsets to save when they shut down the software. So when they close out of Mark III, their G54 is gone. So I'm going to hopefully show you guys how you can resolve that issue. Um, it works for me. I'm, I'm, I'm certain it's the proper way that it's meant to be set up. So let's go and have a look. First thing you need to do is get up your um, general configuration. Down here in the bottom, you'll see here where it says copy G54 from G59.253 on startup. And we want to uncheck that. We don't want that to happen. I'm going to show you where that is and why you don't want that. If you go down to where your fixtures are saved here on work offsets, if you go all the way to the bottom of that, that's your G59253. Now, some people prefer not to save their G54. I don't know why you wouldn't want to, but you can if you don't want to save your G54 in at that G54 default. You can put it here. You write it there, and it will load that every time. I think that's very redundant, so I don't like to do that. The very next thing you need to check is that your router, that's my XML file, which is my profile. Yours will be named different because you'll have it written as a different one. So just want to right click on that and go properties. We want to make sure that is not checked for read only. So it must be not checked. Let's see if it works. I'm just going to punch in some numbers here to change it. So what I'm effectively doing is changing my G54. to 50. Okay, so now we've changed the G54. Let's see if it works. Ask us here to end the session, yes. Fixture save, yes. There it is. So it's that easy. That easy to change the, the settings within Mark III so it will allow you to save your G54 every time that you shut down the software and then when you restart it, it's there ready for you to go again. I hope this has helped.